Edwin, how, what can one do to have that? Uh, you've given some, uh, some hints there. Uh, the real guides are test, uh, testing me to see wh whether I would continue to 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 engage in battle with these uh, dark forces or anything that. But how do I hold myself together? Because uh, this is not the first time. Uh, when I was with the cooperation, I remember I remember I fought with with a monster. A very hideous monster had to burst the ice in, and uh, defeat it completely before before uh, progressing, because it was about to to bar my uh, my way. So, how, what can I do to to be calm when I'm faced with this uh, with a uh, this kind of uh, monsters. I get it. Okay, so again, there's two sides to everything. So uh, you notice in the first experience you told me, I'm just going off of what you said. I'm not saying I'm right because yeah. I've got to interpret what you're telling me also and see and whatever. So uh, however you say it, that's what it goes off of and, and what I see with that. And so in the first experience, you're battling the monster. But it keeps reappearing again. It's very interesting. Okay, I wish Claudia was here, but she's not. Uh, we're doing the galactic side, and one of the experiences where I was with the Callum God, because we're dealing with everything here, and uh, this and that ain't working, but as soon as I stuck my hand into him, the influential head disappeared. So, uh, there's different ways to approach it, and just like in the corporation, hey, I understand that with the corporation. So you're dealing with the influence heavy there, because it's very real with Joni and Harry, and etc. The real you, even though the personal you here doesn't understand all of it, but the real you can see it, and it tries to convey this to the personal self. So when you're when you're in a position and you strike something like that, a monster or an enemy or something, I, I have been there too, okay? I've been there too. Uh, one, I kicked like a football, okay? He was right in front of me. I kicked him like a football to Revazar, and Revazar shot him, okay? So the thing being is, is that uh, it's going to be different in different situations. So uh, what I'm simply doing here is simply giving you a view, and then this is where you sort it out, uh, but I always go, and I have to deal with these things too, and I always go to, uh, you know, seeing and standing real with what makes sense, and that is just like the sun shining, that's what the isness is, and so in the meantime, yes, our personal selves, like we eat and sleep, and we have fun, and we have drama, and whatever here, uh, personally, and it shows up sometimes, but the boys will use that on the real side, as various means, but again, this is where your awareness uh, becomes more acute, more uh, defined for yourself, for you to recognize what's going on. Uh, and so it's it's uh, it's almost endless too within creation to figure these things out because of the because life is a flow. It's just. Where is it really? It's everything, and it's always everything, and so we're always dealing with everything, and so it's going to come and go and do things, etc., like this or that, and uh, so again, uh, we, with our mind and our senses in, uh, in this realm here, with this body here, plus the other four bodies that we have to deal with, and then our real awareness to recognize that, well, that's a whole lot to figure out and define plus uh, your situation where you have to work for a living and have your focus on that so uh again when i come back from these experiences from the real side because certain things are demonstrated to me uh, sometimes i don't always feel great sometimes i'm very discouraged even because again uh, we go through so much to figure out the smallest things which become bigger or smaller or whatever and different and just at the same time trying to present something to the world that makes sense because that reflects upon us as an individual and collectively also so i know that's a lot but uh, the bottom line is you decide 
how you're going to approach this. And, you know, it's just like you can be like Chris was in the military and he did things according to what he thought was whatever. But then the sergeant comes up and says, no, stupid, that's not what I mean. You know, so again, it's it's we're always getting alternate views and seeing it. So I, I always take the risk. Uh, I see it from my literal side, and then I also uh, go around uh, the circle of degrees, you might say, and there's many views, trying to pull in as many views as I can, and seeing it from that person's side, even seeing it from the monster's point of view. Okay, what is the monster doing there? What is his intent? What is he thinking? If I were the monster, what it's like? What is it like that I'm doing to you? You see? And so all those views add up to eventually recognizing the is. That's what we're going through all of this for. But if we don't take the time to do all that and to encompass all that, then what we do is we stay stuck in our personal view. And then, yes, the eternal battle, you know, that's all it becomes. Is that what you want it to be? So, again, you're the decider. This is very interesting. We are the decider all the time. And we're thinking that, well, that life is doing this or someone or the guides or whatever. Realistically, they're not. They're just creating the demonstration. Life in, in creation is, is the demonstrations are all around us. We decide our position with all of this. Yes. And so what is right or, or wrong? Well, we just do the best we can with what is happening right now. So we're dealing with the world, etc. So... Yeah, we're going to constantly deal with these things, and they come in different disguises. They come in, you know, beautiful women. They come in men with nice suits, etc. It all looks good. Is it? Uh, well, again, you, you decide. But I would just say that, you know, again, through your experience there, where you keep trying to kill it, and I've been there myself, too, trying to shove it away or get rid of it. But then what's interesting, it's kind of like when you're ill. When I'm ill, which is very seldom, you know what? I just give in to it. I don't try and fix myself or anything. I really don't. I just enjoy the rest and the, I get to just lay down and dream. And you know what? It's fine with me. Sometimes I look forward to it. But most people fight it. What they do is they take all kinds of medication and this. It's like, well, I got to get to work. They push it, push it, push it, push it. And they really strain themselves. I don't do that. I just go with it, whatever it is. I just go with it. And you know what? It's, it's really a bliss all its own. Uh, there's so many ways to view things. And so, uh, again, we have the big challenge to present this in a particular way. That's why, again, I'm all over the place. So, uh, yeah, you decide what you do with your monsters. But, hey, we're in a world that is one big monster. And so, again, we're not, I'm not fighting the system here. I'm really trying to get through to the system creatively to where it pays attention. Also, the monster that's been created here, the grid we're in. So, yes, thank you for uh, bringing it up, Charles. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Dean. I hope uh, next time I remember to <laughs> not to be very violent with the monsters. And I think... Uh, what you've said, I've got some some perception of uh, what to do. Maybe uh, from my outer activities to be indifferent to to be indifferent to, to certain things, because uh, uh, to have a very strong and uh, position. Uh, which doesn't admit of uh, some flexibility, I'm sure it, it will give right. It will give rise to this kind of uh, of uh, of conflict in in on the real side. So I think I, I know what to do. 